Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistboards.com. Let's, let's talk for a few minutes about your kerosene lamps, your propane lanterns, and also lanterns that use liquid fuel like Coleman fuel, and also your candles. What do all of these have in common? Is that they're points of ignition. I am phasing all of these out in favor of solar powered lanterns. And why am I doing this? Mainly because like kerosene lanterns, they're outdated technology. They're a fire hazard. So are um, candles and the lantern here. This is, let's get over here a little bit, zoom in right there. Not only is this a fire hazard, but whenever this is burning, whenever it's going, the top up here gets very, very, very hot. Like um, several years ago, so after a hurricane passed through, we had this next on, we had this ne on a table next to a board game we were all playing. It was just putting out a lot of heat. I mean, for August here in Texas, it's already almost 100 degrees outside, and this thing was just putting out a massive amount of heat. And if somebody would have touched the top of it, I mean, it would have burned their hand very bad. Second, maybe third degree burns. At least second. And that's, uh, that is something we did not need in that type of situation. No hot, the hospital, local hospitals were shut down. We only had like one ambulance, and they would be lucky if they can get to you. Uh, communications, the cell phones didn't work half the time. Uh, landlines were out. Internet was out. Everything was out. So if somebody, if, if we would have knocked the candle over, knocked the lantern over, we would have had nothing. I mean, there's no way the fire department could have got to us to help. Something that really got me to reconsidering kerosene lanterns, kerosene lamps, was I was talking to my aunt the other day, and I was asking, when, when did you get electricity? We were trying to figure out about what year it was, this and that. She did not get electricity until she was about 18 years old. And uh, well, what was it like using kerosene lanterns? Oh, we used them for everything. Did our homework with them, read with them, I mean, everything. And she told me that one time, one of them caught on fire. She didn't get into the details or anything. She said one of them caught on fire and my granny had to pick it up, brought it out to the brought it to the back door and threw it out in the backyard and let it burn itself out. And that was with people who have who were raised with kerosene lanterns. Said sometimes you blow the wick out, it'll sit there and smolder smolder, and then you wake up and, it, and wake up in the middle of the night and your lantern's back going again. So it's like uh, sometimes it would reignite. These are people that use kerosene lanterns all the time they knew what to do with them they knew how to handle them and then you use them in an emergency or with a power outage and you're exposing people to them that have hardly ever ever used them the kids may i mean you pull out a kerosene lantern oh that's so cool these kids a lot of kids have never even seen them used it's like oh what's that what how do you do this and how do you do that you tell them, don't touch, but, I mean, it's just curiosity. And these, with our society, with the limited exposure that people have to kerosene lanterns, these are, I feel that these are an accident waiting to happen. Something else that all of these have in common are they are non-renewable. And I know you're going to say, but Kevin, you get beeswax and you make candles and all that. Guys, guys, solar is cleaner. It's renewable. I mean, there's, besides the battery life over a couple of years, but you're going to get more out of a battery with solar than you will ever hope to get out of these. Then you have to stockpile like the propane tanks or the Coleman liquid fuel. You have to stockpile the kerosene, which I've got like 15 gallons of kerosene in the shed and a drum. So uh, that's still only 15 gallons. After the hurricane, we were going through about half of, half of one of these a night whenever we were sitting around playing board games. So eventually, eventually, your candles are going to run out, your kerosene's going to run out, your propane's going to run out, and then what? Then what are you going to do? Well, if you would have been taking the resources of buying kerosene for this, buying propane for that, if you would have taken those resources and put them into solar power, you would have a renewable light source. I am not saying that everybody should dispose of their lanterns. No, this is a two-way conversation, people. If you disagree with me, say so. Please say so. Please say so. Kevin, I totally disagree with you. I think lanterns are fine. I think they're perfectly safe. I think candles are safe. Stockpile you a bunch of candles 
and whenever they run out, go find you some bees and make your make make your candles out of tallow or fat, and I, I mean it's fine. But to me, to me, I would rather instead of buying kerosene by the gallon or five gallons, I could buy a solar panel, battery recharger instead of buying propane, kerosene lanterns, replacement wicks. Um, other odds and ends, the candles. By the time I do all that, I could invest that money in solar and have a almost a infinite renewable uh, resource. And I say, I know you're gonna say, Kevin, it's not renewable because the batteries run down. Blah 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 blah. You you get my idea, guys. You get my idea that once long after this candles burn down, the solar will still be going. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, but that's what I'm doing is I'm phasing out the kerosene lanterns. I'm not. I'm still gonna have them. Now, I'm still going to have them. I'm still going to have candles. I'm still going to have some one-pound propane bottles for my lantern and my stove and stuff. But those are not going to be my go-to light source in the event of a power outage. It's going to be solar with backup battery packs that I can recharge off of, solar, off of the solar panel. And use that battery, battery, backup, pack, battery, backup battery pack during the night for the lanterns. And I'm going to buy some, large, some larger lanterns over the next few months. And I'm going to be showing them to y'all. All right, guys and gals, thanks for listening. I'll talk to y'all later.